I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Friday, June 24th, our scripture is from the first chapter of Luke, verses 57 through 80. Now the time came for Elizabeth to give birth, and she bore a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great most mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. On the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name him Zachariah after his father. But his mother said, No, he is to be called John. They said to her, None of your relatives has this name. Then they began motioning to his father to find out what name he wanted to give, give him. He asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. All of them were amazed. Immediately his mouth was open and his tongue freed and he began to speak, praising God. Fear came over all their neighbors and all these things were talked about throughout the entire hill country of Judea. All who heard them pondered them and said, What then will this child become? For indeed the hand of the Lord was with him. Then his father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke this prophecy. Best, blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has looked favorably on his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty Savior for us in the house of his servant David. As he spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old, that he would be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who ate us. Thus he has shown the mercy promised to our ancestors and has remembered his holy covenant. The oath that he swore to our ancestor Abraham to grant us that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in the darkness in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the wilderness until the day he appeared publicly to Israel. The word of the Lord. John the Baptist. But his mother said, No, he is to be called John. Verse 60. When I was in ninth grade, I wanted to change my name to Carmen. That was my friend's name, and she was amazing. Faithful at church, got straight A's in high school, and was our band's drum majorette wearing a one-piece gold lame outfit that made boys faint. I was sure that if I had been named Carmen, my life would have been different. What's the big deal about the name John in the story of the baptizer? His ministry would have been the same had he been named Zachariah Jr. The angel Gabriel had announced that John was to be the name for the boy tumbling in Elizabeth's womb. She insisted on it after he was born, and Zachariah's tongue was loosed when he agreed. You see, the Hebrew name Yohanan, the predecessor to the English name John, means graced by God. My name may not have been key to how my life turned out, but John's name is important. It makes clear the significance of God's grace accompanying his, this child through conception, birth, and life in the wilderness. Our prayer. Blessed be the Lord, of his, Lord God of Israel, who has looked favorably on us, redeemed us through Christ Jesus. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.